King Rishia. Ah, Eivor. We have missed your wit on the Orvik Council. I attend in spirit. Would you lend us your wisdom now, if possible? We are at pains to determine how to deal with the Northern Picts. Meet iron with iron. That is the way. And this feast is how the Danes prepare their blades. We fought well and won. Tomorrow we'll fight again. But we must always make time for celebration. I defer to your expertise. Hacking, hewing and the like. Enjoy the feast, Counselor. How true. I shall send a strongly worded note in protest. I'm told Hafton can read. Dogs do not beg for silver. Dogs do not yearn to be yards. But I am a wolf. No, a wolf king. Ah, Eivor. Come, let me show you a wonder. All this. We conquered this, he and I. Together! You have earned great fame. Won many battles across England. I'm not alone. No, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Eva the Boneless, Sacred Snake and I. Great warriors all. My brothers. Gold is good, and battle better. But glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Fowler, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Fan of it. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faderwin wants to poison you? I fear he has tried countless times and failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. I can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. 
join his war band. And behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better, even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Farouid fool you. He is hiding something. Take me on! I will show you feats of strength to Together rival we'll force. force open the doors of the Old Father's Hall.
against me and try testing your luck? 
I accept. And like lightning, we'll leave you dumbstruck. Not bad. But what will you wager? Here's my bet. Now do your worst. I call down from on high the full strength of the gods to defeat all the stammerers, weaklings and frauds. And those men who approach, I make fools of them all. See, I've come from the north, and I will even the odds. You minuscule little imp! You're a terrible flighter! I am here in the clouds while you crawl on the ground, like a sad little worm making a pitiful sound. And my height goes to show how above you I stand. I doubt that you'll succeed, for I'm the greatest in the land. What's that? All I hear from up here is nonsense. I have every advantage I see for an age. My words are my weapons, these ramparts my stage. What's it like being tiny, an ant in the loam? What's it like feigning hugeness? You're not but a gnome. That one landed. I knew it. Talent as tiny as you, barely visible to my eye. Go now! Return when you've grown up! Welcome back! You've gotten smaller since I saw you last. But my ability has only grown. Well, challenge me then! I will, and I bet that I will win. Here's my bet. Now do your worst. I call down from on high the full strength of the gods to defeat all the stammerers, weaklings and frauds. And those men who approach, I make fools of them all. Do not mistake position for size. You aren't very tall. You minuscule little imp. You're a terrible flighter. I am here in the clouds while you crawl on the ground like a sad little worm making a pitiful sound. And my height goes to show how above you I stand. I should say from this distance. You look very small. What's that? All I hear from up here is nonsense. I have every advantage I see for an age. My words are my weapons, these ramparts my stage. What's it like being tiny, an ant in the loam? What's it like feigning hugeness? You're not but a gnome. That one landed. I knew it. Talent as tiny as you, barely visible to my eye. Go now! Return when you've grown up! Welcome back! But my ability has only grown- Well, challenge- I will. Here's my bet. Now do your worst. I call down from on high the full strength of the gods to defeat all the stammerers, weaklings and frauds. And those men who approach, I make fools of them all. The one fool that I see here is up on that wall. Not bad, I suppose. I am here in the clouds while you crawl on the ground like a sad little worm making a pitiful sound. And my height goes to show how above you I stand. Then enjoy while you can. A great fall is at hand. Surprisingly competent. 
I have every advantage I see for an age. My words are my weapons, these ramparts my stage. What's it like being tiny, an ant in the loam? What's it like feigning hugeness? You're not but a gnome. That one landed. Well, for a mere speck of a flighter, you're surprisingly strong. You've earned your winnings. You're a mighty little midge. Better luck next time. I've heard all Danes are cursed with slow brains and fat tongues. Care to prove me wrong? Most men choose to be loud or stupid. Impressed that you manage both. I will take you on. Brilliant. Some flighting spirit. How about a wager? Here. Thank you. Let us begin. I have sparred against champions and bested each one. Oh, to beat such a bracket will surely be fun. Ah, quick to bite back. Be careful, young Earl. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're a snipe and a half-wit, a cretin, a clod. Falls flat! Young Earth, you'll take this easily. <laughs> this one is no match for you, young Elf. I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of verse. You're the weakest of wordsmiths, a terrible bore. Your clumsy flighting is the real bore here. A sad, sad attempt. As predicted. A slow brain and a fat tongue. You were not worth the effort. Come find me when you've honed your skills. Back for more, eh? Must have an appetite for punishment. I have to say I'm ready. Good. Here. Thank you. Let us begin. I have sparred against champions and bested each one. Oh, to beat such a bracket will surely be fun. Ah, quick to bite back. Be careful, young Earth. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're a weakling, a milksop, a catcher, a louse. Brilliant! I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of verse. Did you bet on yourself? Then know that I will empty your purse. Clumsy phrasing. A sad, sad attempt. I'm impressed. 
You are as sharp as that axe on your belt. As promised. I will have my winnings now. Take the gold. You've earned it. You, Dane! Come closer. What do you want? You look to be a good fighter. But do you dare to face the greatest battle you will ever know? Of what do you speak? I speak of a terrible and monstrous incorporeal power whose name is feared across these lands. Fergal the Faceless. The most fearsome flighter in all of Grantbridgeshire. Oh. Ooh, a flighter? Is that all? Fergal the Faceless has silenced doubters before. Will you challenge him? I will face the Faceless. <gasps> My god! You are braver than most. Or perhaps more foolish. Come, I will give you a key. This key unlocks Fergal's lair, which you see now before you. That is a house. No, no. It is a den of nightmares. A pit of death from which few have ever escaped unharmed. By words. Unharmed by words. Go. Go now. And God be with you. Do not tarry. Your death by flighting awaits. Fergal will claim another sorry soul. <laughs> Do not tarry. Your death by flighting awaits. Fergal will claim another sorry soul. Good morrow! I stand here on behalf of the Lady Elette of Colchester, famed mistress of the flight. Do you seek an audience? I have never heard of her. Based on your appearance, I am thoroughly unsurprised. Nevertheless, do you wish to challenge her? I do. Foolish. 
yet to be graced by her presence may balance the pain of the loss you will most assuredly suffer. Lady Elette, you are called to the field of flighting. Ah, oh, a peasant. Come for a sound flighting? Please, place your paltry bet. Take this. Hmm. A pittance. But I accept on the lady's behalf. She will begin. I have heard much about you, and none of it good. You've the softness and brains of a sheep. My verses are known all across this great land. For they put all who hear them to sleep. Not bad. Oh, you think you're so clever, I'm almost impressed that you managed to blurt something out. Yet I worry our skills are too deeply mismatched. Well, I think you'll be easily dispatched. Shameful performance, truly. I should almost take pity on one so bereft, of beauty, of wit, and of skill. But instead, I'll persist till you beg me to stop. Lend a soul, for your words make me ill. Where did you steal that one from? Thus the Lady Alette has been beaten at last, by the one she was foolish to doubt. Now her herald must give me the sum of my bet, while Alette can but stand there and pout. Oh, pay what is due and send this peasant away. I grow weary. Of course, milady. Take your winnings, you have earned them. Thank you.
Must be fun of its camp ahead. Cold and dirty must be the place. Throw yourself in, Gunungaga. Far of it. Ah, oh, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Faravid. This whelp needs gelding. Ofer, piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Afton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Faravid. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches than barns and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets. And not just for us, we tracked Pictish raiders heading north. I know the place. My raiders sacked Elmet not long ago. Ma. And then they picked the bones left over from your feast. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Hoftan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? To help you battle the Picts, nothing more. He knows my reputation, and he knows what advantage I bring. You question my word. You never gave it. Then I give you my word, Faravid. I am here to fight Picts. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some Picts! Yeah! Watch for ambushes. Should have stayed in Donacastre. More mead, fewer Picts. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! Stay with me, friend. Over here! Let's work together. The picks are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. Masters of guile and ambush. Have a care.
stronger already.
well now. Huh, <laughs> huh. 